Hi guys, it's Tessa, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I wanted to update you and let you know what sort of things have been going on in my life. Because I haven't made a YouTube video in a couple weeks, well, almost a month, I think it's probably about a month. A month? <laughs> so I hope all of you guys are doing well and I hope you are enjoying the Christmas season. So I just been kind of in a yo-yo of getting a cold, feeling okay, and then trying to pick myself up, do some work, and then feeling rubbish again. It's not a very good, not a very good thing. So, this time of year, I don't know why, but my asthma seems to be triggered quite frequently, and it can be quite frustrating because I can get out of breath very quickly. So if you guys suffer with asthma, I highly recommend that you take your inhalers um, try to get your inhalers if you can. I know in the UK it's quite expensive actually to get your prescription of inhaler and I had to pay for my prescriptions. Yeah, just trying to keep my asthma regulated is, is, is what I've been trying to do. So I kind of abandoned the idea of going ginger hair um, and I've just gone back to purple. When I bleached the roots, I just put purple straight over the faded red because I used the Ritual over my bleach roots, let that fade, and then I put the Arctic Fox Poison, which is a very deep coloured red, and it blended in with the purple so nicely. It looked really lush. I just, mm, I fell for it. And then I was like, yeah, this orange thing's gonna look really nice. Like imagine having a whole head of orange hair. So yeah, and then just literally like a week later of having the red hair, I got bored and I was like, nah. I always go back to turquoise, purple and blonde. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna let this purple fade out so it'll probably go like a nice lilac-y pink color and just see what happens. Since bleaching and re my roots, I find that this purple has gone more multi-tonal. I feel like there are lighter bits, there are darker bits at the bottom as well. I don't know why, but this set has come along so much nicer. So I made some dread wraps and I'm going to list these on my shop in January. So if you guys are interested in purchasing something from my online shop when it does go up in January, I will put the link in the video description box. Also, I have a Twitter account and an Instagram for the, the shop as well. So if you want to keep updated, then definitely go follow me on there and you can get the latest for all the products that I make and when they go, online. I've made like a personal stash of these because I like fell in love with them so much. Also with these dread wraps I am actually going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, I think I'm going to do a few giveaways so follow me on my Instagram, keep updated and I will let you know when that's going down. Uh, these were the ones I made for myself as well so <laughs> we were all going to be matching. They're all custom, every single one is individual, unique. We're all going to have our own custom ones. I've just fallen in love with the fact that I can make something for you guys and we can all kind of be connected in that sort of way. So I'm really excited. So yeah, January, online shop, it's going live again. Okay. Yeah, so I got my nipples pierced. I'm really super happy about it. I'm not obviously gonna show you right now, but <laughs> I'm really happy with them. You know, when I was told, are you ready? And then the needle goes through. I looked down halfway and Holy shit, the needle was halfway in my in my boob, in my nipple, and it looked like he was struggling. Like the force to get that needle in the nip. Oh boy, it was pretty tough. Um yeah. I'm just gonna say now, it was a little bit sensitive, but now day three later, no regrets, no regrets. I love my nipple piercings. I'm gonna make a more in-depth video for you, let you know the process what went on, all that jazz, <laughs> so yeah. But I just find it crazy how I've had people tell me like how to look after the nipple piercings and I don't know whether or not they know that I used to be a manager in a tattoo and piercing shop or I don't know whether they know that I had my nipples pierced previously, like two other times, this makes it the third time. So yeah, I have quite a bit of experience within the nipple piercing range, you know? I love coloring my hair. Coloring my hair makes me feel so happy. I remember when I started mixing up the bleach and I was thinking, oh God, I've got to bleach my hair again. 
And then once I started, about five minutes into bleaching my roots, I was like, you know what? I actually feel really good. This has made me feel better. I don't feel so sad, you know? Like, it's very therapeutic for me. So if you guys have any recommendations for any hair colours you would like to see, then pop me a message and I would have a think about it. And I'll um, see, if we can, see if we can do that. Oh, you playing with your mousey? Oh, you playing with the mouse? There you go, baby, when your mouth is. Yeah, <laughs> she's so cute. So, there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this update video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe for more, and I'll see you lovelies very soon. Bye, guys.